Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create two Photoshop actions that give your photos a matte look so when you put your hand lettering over the top of it, it just pops. First of all, you want to open up Photoshop. So here's the lettering I want to put it on the Floto. Uh, I've grabbed myself some photos from unsplash.com, a really good site, free photos, so a great place to go. But with some of the photos, uh, they're still quite bright. They haven't had anything done to them. Uh, so, but as you can see, the white type on top of the photo doesn't stand out as well as it could do. So what we're going to create is these two um, actions which produce some folders which we can turn on and off that just desaturate it a little bit and bring down the sort of brightness of it just so that your white type really stands out uh, against the photo. So we're going to create one like that which is the colour one and we're also going to create a black and white one as well. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to get rid of those two. So we've got a photo there, we've got a type. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through slowly how to create an action. Uh, so what happens now is that we're going to have to create an action, but then we have to go through the steps exactly in the right order so that when they play back, um, they work well. <laughs> so what you want to do is open up your actions panel, so window, um, actions, create yourself a new folder, clicking the folder icon. And we call this um, Matt Actions. And then what we want to do is create a new um, action. So the little uh, paper icon or go to the drop down menu and click new action. Call this um, color Matt. And now that's recording. So everything we do now is going to be recorded. So we want to get this sequence right. So, so first off, what we want to do is create a new group. So we're going to have our layers panel open and click on the drop down menu. So the th four, is it four little lines on the right hand corner? And then we want to go to new group. And we call this group um, color mat as well. Uh, then what we want to do is create our first, there's going to be three um, three adjustment layers inside this to give us the look we're after. So what you want to do is go down to your adjustment layer icon, click on that and we will first one we want to select hue and saturation and that will automatically pop into that um, folder. So what we want to do with this, we also want to have the properties uh, layer, properties window open. And so what we're going to do is just turn down the saturation to minus 100 um, in that. Um, but we also want to give our layer, uh, turn it on to soft light and bring that down to 50% opacity. And as you can see up here, it, you can see all the different actions being recorded as we do it. So you can delete them in the end, but it's easier if you can just get it right the first time. Okay, next one, new adjustment layer, and we want a solid color this time. And what we're gonna select is, I'm just gonna select uh, just that sort of royal blue color in the middle. Okay, that. And then what we wanna do with that is turn it from uh, normal to uh, exclusion. And we want that to be 30%. Now, our last one, which is going to be exposure. We are going to put in the figures um, negative 0 0.36 in the exposure. And for the offset, we are going to do plus 0 0.05 that's our folder completed. So what we want to do now is click on the folder. We haven't finished the action yet, but click on the folder, drop down menu and just say collapse all groups. And that's it done. So what we want to do now is press the stop icon on the actions palette. That's it done. So hopefully if you've been through the order right, uh, once you uh, click on this and then press the play button, so we're going to delete that folder. And then we press play it should pop up exactly the same folder we just had and so if we look inside we've got all those 
uh, things that we put in there exactly how we put it. Uh, do watch this video a couple of times if you find it. You've never done actions and it's completely new to you. Just keep going through them. You'll sometimes find that you, you'll press play and it might put everything into a group. But I'll put, I'll try, I'll link the instructions down below just the order that they go in. Uh, so that you can get used to that and do that because it's really handy just having an action just press play um, and it pops up with a folder which you can then turn on and off or you can you know adjust the opacity if it's just too much okay so that's our color one done so I turn that off I should just delete that for the minute and we're going to create a um, black and white one as well so same again uh, we're in the make sure we're in the Mac folder um, we want new action and we're going to call that B W Matt create so that's now recording again so I'm going to go through this again so if you want to uh, it's a similar very similar process so drop down menu new group B W Matt then we want again we want hue and saturation bringing saturation down to minus hundred. Um, but this time we want to keep the um, blending to normal. Now we want to create a solid color. Again, just want a blue like we just did in the previous. You don't have to be accurate about this. Okay. And that is going to be um, set to exclusion as well. And we create 30% for that again. And then we want to do uh, exposure again so very similar to the last one but this one we've been solid black and white and for the details for that are the same as the last one so uh, negative 0 0.36 for the exposure and plus 0 0.05 there we go and now what we can do is select that folder again drop down close uh, collapse all groups and we can stop and then we go and remove that folder and test out our action and there we go so there's our black and white version as well so that's just two quick actions that when you've got uh, you know you have a new photo come in you just want to uh, map that photo so your hand lettering stands out you click on the photo press play and boom there you go done for you hope that's um, useful for you guys please leave any questions in the comment section below or any videos you want me to create that you want to know how to do things then um, please uh, ask away otherwise subscribe thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video